How can the hospital meet the demand? At Omichi Hospital, they're talking about reopening a ward that's been closed since the nuclear accident. We already have more than 60 inpatients. Normally, we can only accept up to 59 patients, but we already have more than 60 on average. If we take in more, it's going to be really tough on us. We have to help long-term patients leave sooner. Yes, but as soon as one leaves, another one comes. How about the East Ward? We'll need nine nurses to reopen the ward. Before the disaster, Omichi Hospital could accommodate nearly 180 patients. Now it can only take care of about 60. The hospital has plenty of vacant beds, but it can't accept any more patients because there aren't enough nurses. Omichi Hospital is not alone. Other local hospitals have had to close some of their clinical departments too. If the city can't provide enough medical services, young people with children won't come back to live here. The reconstruction of Minami Soma is at a stalemate. Mrs. Fujihara visits many of the nurses who've moved away and tries to persuade them to come back. Hello, Momo. I've come all the way to Shinjo. Thank you for coming so far to see me. Momo Nishi, age 35 fled to Yamagata Prefecture with her husband and two children right after the nuclear accident. She feels guilty for leaving her patients and colleagues behind. I want you to come back to us. So I've brought you this record of the situation at the hospital during the past year. I've brought it here because I want to tell you a bit about it. Right now we have 60 to 65 patients and the number is gradually increasing. So if you decide to go back to work, please come back to us at Omachi Hospital. I'm here today to ask you that. I was one of the first to move out, so... You don't have to feel guilty about it. We respect the decision you made. Of course you had to put your children first. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming all the way here. Thank you so much. I really wanted to see you. I'm happy to see you look so good. I'll be waiting for you. Thanks for your kind words. Now I feel it's okay to come back. That's why I've come all the way here. I thought you might feel too guilty to come back. But it's okay. You're my treasure. It's impossible to run a hospital without nurses. Every one of you is a treasure for us. We'll make sure you can come back and work with us again whenever you decide to. In the end, Momoe decides she can't go back to Omichi Hospital anytime soon because of her young children. I want to go back, but I can't. When I left, I thought I'd be able to return in no time. But I still can't.
自分自身を切り替えなきゃいけない。I have no choice but to move on. I'm wondering how I should tell the young nurses doing their best back at the hospital. I'm at a loss for words. They'll ask me how things went here. What should I say to them? The invisible danger of radiation haunts this town. The nurses still working at the hospital are uneasy about it too. We don't know what's going to happen in Fukushima. Everything depends on the situation at the nuclear plant, so we live in a constant state of anxiety. Some of the senior nurses I used to be friendly with haven't returned yet. I've gotten used to the radiation. I'm used to not being able to hang the laundry outside. My children not being able to play outside. Not being able to keep the windows open. It's become normal for me. I don't even think about opening the windows. One of the nurses is leaving the hospital today. This is Ai Ikeda, 30 years old. Decontamination and reconstruction haven't moved fast enough, so she and her husband have decided to move away. They feel too uneasy about the future in Minami Soma. Thank you very much for everything. I'm very grateful. Take care. Drop in when you're back in town. I've been fretting about the future constantly, trying to decide whether we should stay or go. If I stay here, I don't know if I'll be able to have children and raise them safely. But I know that when I leave, everyone at the hospital will have to work even harder. It's really painful to think about. My mind's made up, but I feel bad. Thank you very much. <laughs> we can't do anything about it. If this was a safe place where they could live comfortably, we could ask them to stay. But things are far from certain in this region. So when they say they want to quit because they are worried about their safety, there's nothing we can say. Almost a year after the nuclear accident, the situation remains dire. In an effort to recruit more nurses, Mrs. Fujihara has come to Tokyo. This is the first ever job fair held by Fukushima Prefecture to recruit nurses. The 25 participating hospitals share the same problem. They need more nurses. The organizers expected 300 visitors today. Our location near the nuclear power plant has a negative effect on our reputation. We've been rejected by people who've come to see the hospital. We're doing our best, but the situation is very difficult.
Mrs. Fujihara tells visitors that the hospitals in Minami Soma are well worth working for. I want you to come and work with us, even just for a few days, a week or ten days. Please come and see the hospital for yourself. But on this day, there are only five visitors. How can hospitals in Minami Soma provide enough medical services? On March 11th, the one year anniversary of the earthquake and tsunami, they still haven't found an answer. Mrs. Fujihara visits Yoshiland, a nursing home that was destroyed by the tsunami. Yoshiland and Omachi Hospital had been working together, trying to build a system that could provide nursing and medical care to the elderly. As the nursing director, Mrs. Fujihara had been a big part of the project. I remember these names. This one's in the hospital. I think this one passed away recently. Many of the patients have been transferred to hospitals outside Fukushima. One third have passed away without returning to their hometown. The tsunami and the nuclear accident have crushed Mrs. Fujihara's hopes of providing model medical care to the aging population. Can we really take care of our patients properly here? Of course, we have to do our best. But the more effort we put into helping our patients, the more we overtax our staff. It's been like that for a year now. We just keep running non-stop. Whenever I ask former nurses to come back to us, I feel guilty. But without them, we can't keep the hospital going. If we don't get more nurses, I have to tell the remaining ones to work harder. Even if I want to give them a day off, I can't. A year has passed since that day. But has anything changed at all? 